Welcome to the show. My name is Mike Osborne. Still NFAC on Twitch. That's one word and not fooling around crew on YouTube. That's two words. Um, I know it sounds like four, but it's two. You can check the link in the bio if you're interested in the YouTube channel. This is Watch Dogs Legion on Xbox Series X. I'm going to attempt to do a playthrough. It's going to take a few episodes. I never actually played through the entire game myself yet. I just started playing a couple days ago. Oh, London. What a town. History around every corner and a tourist photographing it. Pubs. All that music. Theater and arty culturalism. And the world oldest underground, the tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up and one night to tear it all down. So, yeah, I haven't been playing very long, but I feel like I've got the hang of it enough where I'm confident we can start from the beginning and maybe get through it. At least I'm familiar with the controls now. So, let's check it out together. Let's play some Watch Dogs Legion on Xbox Series X. Thanks for watching. Also, I support hot dubs. We all got to support hot dubs. It's the right thing to do. What's our status? Perimeter security's down. But plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Fuck. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. You be soft. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bradley? If you haven't rushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. We'll have to sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. This game is brilliant. I will get into that as we go along. So we're creeping, right? Let's creep. Oh shit, and we're hacking. Profiles are heavily encrypted. No identifying information. Yeah. Ghosts in this system. That hurt you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? So we're investigating a threat to Parliament. Shit. 
There we go. They've got loads of dead set gear down here. Now why do you oh, suppose that right. is? I need to get my What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like DeadSec was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Alright, so this is Dalton. Dalton is part of DeadSec. Men in black anyway. Nothing identifying. I suspect that's and by design. Being framed for whatever's going on here at Parliament. enjoyed playing this game I bought Returnal PlayStation 5 and then I bought this a few days later and I have not stopped playing this one Returnal's great I'm not saying I got it twisted Returnal's great PlayStation 5 is great but this game is uh, I think it's more my style oh fuck me the entire place is rigged to blow Jesus those canisters Badly is that? RDX nitrogen, enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. One, two, three, and here we gotta get to. Let's take care of it. Oh shit. Hey, what's up, Lambda? How you doing? Come on over here just a little bit closer. They've staged dead set right. propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are gonna blow up Parliament and hang That's it good, on man. Us. Me too. I'm having Not a nice uh, what is it, Saturday first. morning. Had a nice Friday night. Had a, having a good Saturday morning. I'm doing this, trying to do a playthrough here of this. Watchdogs. It was suggested by someone who watched the channel that, well, they didn't suggest to play this game. They suggested to do uh, Resident Evil, but I figured I'd give this one a try because this is the one I'm enjoying playing right now. So, but I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Have you played uh, this game, Watchdogs? All right, which way am I supposed to go? Reach the House of Commons. All right, let's figure that out. Hola. Hey, what's up, Deadpool? Oh yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. I uh, I wasn't planning on buying it, and then I heard that this this is version 4.0, uh, title version 4.0, and I read that they're doing an update 4.5 soon, and 4.5 is going to give you 4K at 60 frames per second on next gen consoles. So I was like, well, you know, maybe I should check that game out, see how the uh, See how it looks, you know, it's something I'd be interested in playing. And then I watched the, the trailer for this game and I was like, oh my god, it looks like so much fun. So I spent some money to buy this game that I probably shouldn't have, but here we are. And I do like it, it's a lot of fun. Right in the House of Commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the center of government.
I found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, I might know a workaround. We trained in manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize you. So, fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on you. Oh, shoot. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. Mess up. It's about to get real. Fuck. Yeah. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. All right, let's see what I can do. Check every corner and crevice. Uh, I'm certainly not too far off. Bagley, update. Let's just say our function is pressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti tamper security is. Still working. Bagley, tell me you're close. I'm through security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. Oh my god. Shit. I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... Hey, what's up? How are you doing, pro player? Diffused. Welcome. Thanks for coming by. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You nearly gave me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. You know, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the tone conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Um, we'll be doing another giveaway soon. There is not one active right now. We're gonna do a little bit of a different um, so Technique for the giveaways. On? We're gonna do giveaways we're live during the shows the people that are watching instead of doing it beforehand where you can like Enter and then it happens. I'm gonna once I have something for the next giveaway Which I'll probably get this week and we'll just do it live during one of the shows to give away to people that are watching So slightly different um, Wipe him. Slightly different this way than we did it last time do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay. So they just Bagley's had down. to get rid of You're on the, your own. the AI Bagley. Dalton, if this goes... I've got to find a way it won't. to get to the roof. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck.
Saw them. Check it out. It's twelve ten PM right now. I just had lunch. Where are you at to be 12 hours away? If you don't mind. Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Hello to India. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. Time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Shoot. Bye, Dalton. And that's the intro to Watch Dogs Legion. And London is burning. A series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. Day at 10 Downing Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set terrorist and used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of DedSec. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. I gotta get like a DedSec t-shirt or something. Profits ...due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled oh by the use yeah, of technologies initially up, developed and approved for security purposes. It's a long overdue cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates, the streets of Camden and Brixton. Londoners, as Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs, thanks to the deployment. Of news outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated. Possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few free to reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news. Conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DeadSec were framed for the bombs have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts.
I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm available, Sabine. Oh yeah. Let's I'm Claire Waters and we've been discussing the hacktivist now alleged terrorist group DeadSec on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now I'll be saying from the start we should have read up DeadSec and thrown him in jail. Now I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. It's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think if anything, DedSec showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find DedSec more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh. is worse than I thought. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. So one of the things that I really liked about this game... Oh, yeah. You know what? We'll do a couple of um, different type of giveaways then. We'll do some like the old ones that I was doing before, and then we'll do something just for the people that are able to watch. That's a good point. I'm glad you brought that up, Lambda, because I don't want to alienate anybody that's watching the show. I realize it's hard to, especially with this being such a global thing, Twitch and all, I wouldn't want to alienate anybody just because of the time zone. So we're going to definitely do some giveaways just like we were doing them before, and I'm glad you brought that up. Thanks for mentioning that. So yeah, so what I liked about this game was that you can use like anybody in London anybody you see in the street can be brought into your resistance the dead sec is the resistance um, so these are people that I can choose from to start with right now and everybody has their own like things that they're good at this woman she has a shotgun and extra faction damage this one has a motorcycle and a unique weapon a paintball gun so Chase drone immunity. Fast don't Ooh, electrify enemies. I like that. Hide from pursuit, huh? Huh. <laughs> Dude picks up a broom or something. That's pretty cool. Uh you guys have any choice? Who would you like to see me start with? So we got Benjamin Dresden, who is a counterfeiter with a pistol. We've got Gabrielle Kyoso, who's physically fit, a cosmetologist. A kitchen helper with an SMG and is a combat role. That's cool. Oh, shorter team at rest time. That's good. Oh, that is good. So last time, so you guys, uh, I started playing this a little bit. I played a little bit of the game and your people get arrested sometimes if you mess up. And it could be useful to have someone to, to be able to get them out faster. But they get out after a certain amount of time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Same thing going to the hospital. Uh, so this is a podcaster, a doctor with a nice dart gun. That looks pretty cool. Shoddy, I do like shotguns. We've got a motorcycle, drone allegiance, a bat from a 
DJ. I thought I was a DJ for a minute. <laughs> Filmmaker and a sports car. Electrify enemies is always good. So, um, how about this? I want to go either Doctor or uh, Ghost Rider. If nobody cares, I'm probably just going to go ahead and pick the Doctor. No input? Alright, so we're going with the Doctor then. Let's try out this dart gun. Welcome to the Resistance. Percy Campbell will be the first member of your DedSec team. Continuing, Continue growing your team by recruiting new members. Let's get after it. Oh shit, bust the dirt, dust the, dust the, brush the dirt off your shoulder there, Doc. So let's check out how London is doing since the attack. I've never been to London, have any of y'all been to London? How does this look like compared to the actual London? sure that's not happening right now. I hope it not at least. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. All right. So I, I'd never get used to driving the other side of the road. Now I'm going the wrong way. Oops. That's a cop in front of us. See that white on the dot, the dot on the map. That car we're following right there. It's out in security or a cop, something like that. Oh, shoot. Side of the car, all that kind of things make me make me disoriented. I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. As long as I don't have to cut my pant to unlock some itch and blood seal, we should be fine. <laughs> All right. No, thank you. Seriously, what is wrong with you? Wish me luck. So I'm playing on the Xbox Series X. I guess that's you know you know that guy's from the uh, the name of the video here. Hello. So anyone there? I figure that means we're loading account. a lot faster than you know the older j series consoles let's power up the safe house and I figure that makes it for a better watch being able to get through these loading scenes faster
And like I said, this is Title version 4.0. Title version 4.5 comes out soon. They haven't detected. said. Identify yourself, or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Sabine sent me. I'm a friend. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and... Oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Who could be brazen enough to set DedSec up for the bombings? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton... Well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament, I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Well, Ross Clot. I'm glad you're still with us. I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would mm. have you hunted down and shot on sight. Listen me. As far as London is concerned, DedSec is responsible for the bombings. And anyone still working for them is persona non grata. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Well, sometimes you have to do what's right. Excellent! New user registered! Welcome to DedSec! Thank you. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit. Tech upgrades. Tech points can be found throughout London. Use them to purchase tech upgrades. Purchase tech in the tech menu to obtain and upgrade gadgets, weapons, and hacks. To change an operative's weapon or gadget, use the edit function in the T menu. Purchase tech is available to all operatives. Cool. Let's check that menu out. Press menu to open the tech menu. All right. And I suppose this is stuff we can buy. Already got that. Spider. AR cloak. You know I love going invisible. Can't afford that. We already have it. Yeah, let's go invisible. I do like invisible. Okay. Alright, team menu. And then edit, put my AR cloak in there. We've got a dart gun, shorter team injury time, because he's a doctor. 
got a paintball gun, a gun, and an AR cloak. We it's have a sophisticated system fun. for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps mm -hmm. we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, I wish I had a dead sec mask. It'd be so cool. Rocking that one. Oh, I can't afford it, damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, alright, whatever. Let's just move on then. Yep, yep. And now uh, I took his shoes off. There we go. Oh, okay. So we can make him look different if we want. Yeah, I don't care about that. So let's just move on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. All right. It's time to go fight a chick. Once again, my name is Mike Osborne, Let's still NFAC on Twitch. Hit me. Don't be shy. Nice one. Oh shit. Couldn't have done that better Ooh. myself. Yeah, she's good at taking a punch. You want to get in under my block? Find the weak point. Just like oh, it that. It's not nice. You're getting it. It's not nice at all. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Oh. Oh sh. The block better net. There we go. Getting it. Yes. Nice one. Dang, kicked her in the face. Dude, it's a doctor of like ninja. So I bought the Ultimate Edition of Watch Dogs. It's on sale for the same price as the Standard Edition, 50% off. So that's why I did it. I probably would have just bought a Standard Issue normally, but like I said, it was the same exact price. So I was like, yeah, why not? I think you can still do that. I mean, I just bought it a couple days ago, so. Gear in order? Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you... Oh, 
Where would you like me to get started? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. Albion's abused their authority to consolidate power. They're holding on to it by keeping everyone afraid. So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? Anything you need, Sabine, me there for you. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. I've located an interesting potential recruit for you. They claim to have recently escaped from, and I'm paraphrasing here, an evil lab. I can't verify that, of course, but their abilities are real enough. Impressive woman. We should consider recruiting her. I had the same Where thought. Wherever they came from, they'll be a valuable asset to the Resistance. I'll set up a meeting for you. All right. Just Come on, man. Let's just chill. Down. All right? Yes, right. Uh, uh, friend, be advised. Protests and other large assemblies will be met with force. Never lose my head like that. There we go. So, like, the thing that I liked about this game so much is that everybody you see in the street here, they're all potential recruits. See, they have a weapon, you can hide. What the? What are you walking up to me for? Carpenter, he's drinking. <laughs> Maybe I stole his bike, who knows. So I'm gonna try and stay on mission as much as possible to try and get through the main story. We just started. Went through the prologue, figured out what happened. Well, we're still trying to figure out who did it. We know what happened to London, and obviously Zero Day did it. But Dalton's dead. He's the only one who knew that. Bagley has an idea. Oh shit! I got the ultimate edition of Forza Four as well. I think it was on sale. Um, the same way that this was so I bought yeah I bought the ultimate edition I got all the downloadable content and, and I even bought the um, the Hot Wheels DLC recently so yeah I can go to Fortune Island uh, Lego Lego Land or whatever it is as well since I'm a member of uh, what is it called Game Pass, Game Ultimate. I'm a Game Pass Ultimate subscriber, so I, whenever they give me discounts on games that I would buy anyways, I always buy the Ultimate Edition. If it's, you know, oh, shoot. If it's, uh, you know, worth it. Oh, man. Close to where we're supposed to go here. Oh yeah, okay, right here. A reminder from the city of London. The Albion propaganda machine is hard at work. They've rebranded. They claim the city is under their protection, but really, it's just a way to make the people more comfortable with their control. There's going to be that much less once you're done here. Let's give Hello, Camden a break Forza. from these eyesores. Um, to Forza it. Horizon 5 is probably going to get released soon here. Uh, as soon as it does, this channel is going to be all over. 
tunes and stuff for Forza Horizon 5. Um, but you didn't mess up by buying it. It's a great game. I, I love Forza Horizon 4. I'm in there. I would be playing that right now if I didn't just buy this game. I'm, in fact, I was playing it before I started broadcasting this. I figured I needed to do some broadcasting if today. If you hijack that scissor lift, you could use it to access the rooftop. I feel like I'm at work. What's this? Mexico is going to be awesome. Foliard, that's pretty... I was hoping it'd be sooner than that, yeah. Yeah, I heard it's going to be released in Mexico. I guess that's that's what most people believe right now. And Mexico would be really cool. There's mountains there, deserts, um, you know, other like, tropical yes, stuff as well. Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know beaches. someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark ben that they can stand to up to. Cancun. If nothing it else, it'll relieve their eye strain. What now? You need to steal information about Albion's plans. That'll give us what we need to really put the hurt on their operations. Yeah, I can jump down there. Maybe. We should be able to make this down easy peasy. Alright. And we've got a car. Yeah, Mexico would be, Mexico would be great. Yeah, I can't wait for Forza Horizon 5, it's gonna be good. I don't, I mean, the game looks great already. I'm playing, when I play Forza Horizon 4, it looks really good, like, I don't know how they can improve on the look of it, even... I don't know, I guess we'll find out, huh? Can't wait to find out, really. Got lucky there. Ah, oh, shit. Auto drive now enabled. Oh, oh yeah, so there's auto drive. I think A must be E braking Forza because I hit. I try to hit e-brake a lot and I'll turn on auto drive. So that's probably where I got that. E-brake in this one is B. And that's a light pole. Here we go. Shit, watch out. Oh shit, what happened? Did I do that? This again? Really? Sent monthly payments to police. Bad heard of them. Here we go. Recruit her later. So let's figure out how to get in here.
I at though? Over there, right? Yeah, that's me over there. So I need to come around this side of the building to my left. Okay. Okay, it says restricted areas are dangerous. You can scout them to reveal hidden opportunities. Use stealth to avoid combat. And left thumbstick to crouch. Captains will call reinforcements. Scout it. Albion have established an operational base in the Royal yeah, I never of played Justice. Horizon now 3. Now that Albion has control of the cards, they can arrest and prosecute anyone oh. they want to eliminate. You now have to kill someone just to silence them. The store. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation. I knew that was there in the beginning, I forgot all about to go there. Dude's wearing his mask. Can't be too safe. this
Okay, what this do is like got nuclear stuff. A list of what Albion consider high value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the fuck? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards. <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Give me those coordinates. One of the cooler ways that I've seen that you can get around in this game, uh, I guess they'll show it to us soon. I don't know if I'll get that far in this episode, but there is like construction drones that are big enough for you to ride and you can fly them through the city. It's pretty cool. I need a car. Much for that, huh? Stealing his key and uh, distracting him at the same time as it doesn't move. It's a pretty good move on my part. Only I've ever done that before. Guess I better just get in there and figure it out, huh? sure how to get in here but figure it out looks like that's a spot Motherfucker. I don't need this shit Disgusting. Oh, 
that you get for looking at your phone. Man, that's fucked up, huh? Oh now. shit. Ninja. Uh oh. Controller batteries are low. Wait, what? You I forgot I had includes visibility. Alright. And someone else is coming around the corner. Oh, look at this. Huh? What's up, dude? I heard that you need some help. Why go on? Your recruit has been sticking it to Albion. Can't believe someone else is. Thought I was alone, right? Not doing much, just putting the word out. But you? Taking action, mate. If you stand by and do nothing, you're just as guilty as the one who pulled the trigger. We need to show the people it's possible to resist Albion. They don't have to give up or give in. We can rise and stop them. If we don't stop them now, this will only get worse. You have something for us? Almost got clip finding this. All of Albion's operational data for the entire city. Convoy routes, surveillance targets, assets. It's all there. Thinking you can make good use of that. I won't argue that. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross to the public, right? But what people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics center, materials, troops, whatever. A lot of it runs through there. You want to give the people a huge boost? Hit that place. Put it out of commission, and you'll severely hamstring Albion's operations here in Camden. Hell, everywhere! That's our move, then. Alright, I think this is a natural stopping point for today. Uh, this is just over an hour, so we'll keep it at episodes about an hour long. That way, if you're watching along, it's not too long, not too short. So, an hour's a good time. So, my name is Mike Osborne, still NFAC on Twitch, that's one word. Obviously, if you're watching on Twitch, you already know that. Or the YouTube channel, where you can find the episodes there as well. Once they're done on the Twitch, I mean, not done on the Twitch. Once I broadcast them live on Twitch, they get uploaded to the YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel is not fooling, around crew, N-O-T-F-O-O-L-I-N-G, one word. And then around crew, A-R-O-U-N-D-C-R-E-W. That's the second word. Not fooling around crew on YouTube. So thanks for watching. My name is Mike Osborne. Uh, you don't strike me as that kind of person who waits for someone to come save them. On ready to fight for freedom. Xbox oh, see, and still dancing. NFAC I have on something for you. PlayStation. Go so on. thanks for My watching. I'm out. That's the end of this episode. I'm going to stop it right people. here. Not going to get like any that. more Boom. into it. The next we broadcast will, will pick up replaced. exactly right where we're at. Probably not that. dealing with this guy because this is a side fine. mission. We're not going to do any side missions, just main missions. Up, you know? So thanks for watching.